Critics say most Tidewater cities are at a disadvantage under the current formula because it favors rural areas, but none more so than Virginia Beach. Its legislators fought hard in Richmond to change the formula, but lost. However, the General Assembly did vote to study the issue. And in Norfolk this morning, the first of four workshops statewide to gather information. Beach council members, legislators, and staff showed up in force to again press their case. In your evaluation of uh, the needs, I believe some consideration needs to be given to the interstate road system that is constructed within urban areas. The reason interstates also carry huge amounts of intercity traffic, but there are no major interstates in Virginia Beach, only the toll road. The traffic must go on other city streets. And the beach doesn't get funds for interstates. Through 1988, Hampton and Norfolk, for instance, will together get nearly a billion dollars. Virginia Beach will get nothing. And there are problems in the criteria used to measure need. Vehicle registration is one. It sounds reasonable enough, but the beach shares a problem with most other Hampton Road cities. The many vehicles registered by military personnel out of state. They use the roads, but they don't count under the registration criteria. All that is just to try to hammer home a little bit on, on what we think is a very serious problem of inadequate funding in highways for the city of Virginia Beach. The study is a fabulously complicated project. It's being conducted by the Joint Legislative Audit and Review Commission staff, which hopes to present its findings to the state legislature by the end of the year. In Norfolk, Terry Zahn, The Daily News.